Welcome back. It is time now for Crafting, Crafting with, with Kate. Kate. Look at that. I love it. Okay, so if you missed it, um, go back online. We have a really fun, easy ghost pillow. But now you're going to show us how we make a DIY decoration. Yeah. A bubbling cauldron. Yeah, a witch's cauldron. A witch's cauldron. Okay. Whoa. And it's easy. Yeah, it, in theory, it should be. And you should have a lot of the stuff already at home. And if you don't, it's like stuff that you can pick up real quick at either the craft store or order online. But um, yeah, so, and it shouldn't take us too, too long to put together. Okay. And if we don't finish it in this segment, then don't worry. You can just tune back in tomorrow and you'll see the finished product then. However, we can get started. You ready, Kara? Yes. Okay, so all the uh, supplies that you need are right here on the side of your screen. Pretty easy. Glue gun, Yep. Uh, packing paper. Yep, so we're just using old wrapping paper that we don't want anymore, but if, it depends on whatever you have at home. This is you what you do with all that bent up wrapping paper that you forgot to store properly. So just like rip it up, smash it, okay. pack the cauldron. And we're gonna really like get a nice big base in there. And if you don't have wrap, old wrapping paper, you can use newspaper. You can use, if you have like a, uh, you know like those foam blocks. Okay. So this is just so that when we put the balls on, on they top, they don't, they don't, okay. Yep. And then so that we don't have to fill everything with right. like ex more expensive ornaments. Exactly. Okay. So you wanna just make sure you have a really good base with all the wrapping paper. And you're just, you're gonna fill it really well so that like up to the top yeah pretty much oh okay okay let's give one more big give one more big rip there we go <laughs> that should be it right okay perfect all right so, so there then we go. what we're going to do is we are going to take our oh. black it's like very pretty sparkly material Okay. Here. And we're just going to, we don't even have to cut it. You can, but we're just going to kind of pack it around there. Oh, to cover up the paper. Okay. Yeah. So the purpose of this, I mean, you have beautiful fabric, but yep. like you could, if you just had an old black t-shirt, do this. Oh yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. It's just so that we don't see the wrapping paper. Yep. And then that way it kind of sparkles a little bit so that when it catches the light. Oh, yeah, so the then sparkles nice. Before we do any, oh, you okay? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so then we're going to take their glass ornaments. Be they, careful. <laughs> I know. So in theory, uh, we have the glass ones because we wanted the iridescent. Um, they do make them in plastic. So if you want to do this with the kids, I would recommend the, the plastic for sure um, since we are doing this with You're just measuring us. now, right? Yep. Okay, do you want me to so, help cut? I think we're gonna get it nice and big so that we can make a pretty bow. So how about right there? Straight or diagonal? No, what you choose. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to make a nice ribbon across here. And just get that tied up. We can fix it later. We can fix it later. I yep. wonder, should you put them through the holes or no? Oh, we can. I Actually, we can do that after. Okay. Um, but then what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking some of the larger bulbs. Okay. And we already took the tops off of the ornaments so that we don't have to deal with the the um, like the aluminum tops. And we're going to place them uh, ornament side down so that it's just a clear glass on top. Okay. And then we're going to take our hot glue gun and kind of just pick a little spot there and okay and this is fine if it drips we don't care yeah no it's fine okay and we're just going to place right in there oh so you just glued that one to the other one yep so it's not always gluing to the fabric no nope, we're just going to put them together oh okay so and then what we're going to eventually do is we are going to fill in the gaps with the smaller ones. Oh, okay. So we have a little extra, and then do I put this one down? No? Yep, so like we have these ones which are like a medium size. Oh, okay. So, I mean, you can take the small ones. We've got, um, all of these are like very similar in size. So you're just gonna basically take whichever ones you feel fit best. And I'm just gonna put like a little. No wrong here, there's yeah, no you, right or wrong. I think that's what the best part about this kind of craft is, is you can just make it up as you go. So. 
I'm just gonna hold that there for just a quick second. See, it just takes it takes no time for it to adhere. Yeah, they're pretty. Let me do. I want to play with the glue gun. Here you go. Okay. <laughs> so there's some lights here. What are we gonna use the lights for? So when we're done with like the base. See if we can get there. We go. What um, we're gonna put these through and kind of get them illuminated even more. Oh, okay. And then the only thing is, is you want to make sure that the battery pack. Let's see where are we going. There we go. That battery pack is on the outside, so you can just tuck it right underneath the cauldron. Okay. Like so, and then the rest of the lights can go. Oops. That's because I didn't hold it long enough, but you could. Okay. <laughs> At home, you have all the time in the world to do this. Uh -huh. So you just kind of will weave it through, and then you have your lighted bubbling cauldron. Nice. All right. So, again, like you're just going to place all of your little ornaments all over the place, and the idea is that eventually you have all the bubbles kind of hanging over so that really the witch's brew is overflowing. Yeah. We'll show it tomorrow so after we fix it up and we'll, fix our bow. We will finish everything. It'll be beautiful, and then at home you can do this with more than seven minutes. Yeah.